The newborn was a human xenomorph hybrid born aboard the USM Auriga. The newborn emerged as a byproduct of cloning experiments conducted by scientists of the United Systems military and was created when the queen alien became contaminated with human DNA, granting her a second reproductive cycle using a womb after she laid her usual xenomorph eggs using the egg sac. The newborn rejected the queen alien and killed it. Instead, it saw Ripley 8 as its mother. Some fans asked why the other xenomorphs did not attack the newborn after it killed the queen. Well, there could be several reasons. One possible answer is that the xenomorphs saw the newborn as the new queen or alpha xenomorph. The second theory is that they were simply stunned. With the queen gone, the whole hive lacked direction and went into disarray. Anyway, the creature became distracted by an insane Dr. Gediman who was cocooned in the hive and brutally killed him by biting his head while Ripley 8 escaped. The newborn pursued the fleeing Ripley 8 to the Betty and secretly gained access to the cargo area. After killing Di Stefano by crushing his head when he arrived to investigate, Ripley 8 once again appeared and convinced the creature to release the female android, Cole, unharmed. Using the newborn's apparent devotion for her to her advantage, Ripley 8 distracted the creature as she used her acidic blood to burn a small hole in a nearby viewing window. The subsequent decompression blew the newborn into space piece by piece through the tiny hole. Mommy, why did you kill me? Why did you kill me, mommy? The newborn's physical appearance was far more humanoid than any other xenomorph. It was the product of a live birth and did not involve the use of an ovomorph, facehugger and chestburster like the usual life cycle. Its physical appearance was dramatically different to the usual xenomorph and it was twice as large as a standard warrior xenomorph. While the newborn still possessed an elongated skull, it was far shorter and more human in shape, fusing with the upper back, and the creature's head included eyes, a nose, and a sort of mouth at the front. The creature had no tail, no inner jaw, and no dorsal tubes, like the classic Xenos usually possess. The newborn had pale skin that was fleshy in both appearance and texture, and lacked the biomechanical features normally associated with the Xenomorphs. The creature's teeth were also more akin to those of a human than the metallic teeth of the xenomorphs, although it did possess large fangs. The newborn walked in an upright, bipedal stance. Perhaps the greatest difference between the newborn and other xenomorphs was its apparent ability to perceive and experience emotions. During the course of its short life, it displayed signs of curiosity, anger, affection, rage, and sorrow. In particular, it held a strong reverence for Ripley 8. Despite the creature's emotional capacity, the newborn was psychologically immature and childlike in its behavior. It would often greet the bloody aftermath of its violent actions with curiosity, frequently playing with the bloodied remains of those it had killed. The newborn displayed a sort of innocence, similar to human children who don't yet understand the consequences of their actions. So now that we got to know this lovely newborn, let's discuss how it would fare in a fight. Well, it's true that the newborn killed an alien queen, but this is due to the fact that it caught the queen off guard. The queen alien was exhausted from having just given birth. However, it did manage to tear the queen's face off with a single swing, suggesting that it's very strong indeed. One disadvantage the newborn seems to possess is its apparent slow speed. It appears to move slowly and clumsily, unlike the super-fast classic xenomorph. However, when Ripley 8 escapes to the Betty, the newborn manages to follow her all the way to the ship, suggesting that it can move fast when it needs to. The newborn lacks the bladed tail and extendable jaw of the xenomorph, which would no doubt give the classic Xeno the upper hand in a fight. In fact, the only way the newborn could win, in my opinion, is if it somehow managed to grab the warrior and crush it. But the classic Xeno could simply keep its distance and strike using its bladed tail until the newborn is dead. Also, we're not sure if the newborn is affected by the xenomorph's acidic blood. One would assume, since it has flesh, that it would be burned by it. I'm guessing it possesses mildly acidic blood itself, just like Ripley 8. Anyway, I guess that was kind of an unfair fight. Or was it? Who do you think would win a fight? The newborn or the classic xenomorph? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Also, please check out my other videos. I'll see you later. Mommy, why did you kill me? Why did you kill me, mommy?